And we are back in line eight because we didn't cover uh, that reference scripture, a couple of reference scriptures. Uh, so he has remembered his covenant forever. And so that's going to be First Chronicles 16, 16. That says uh, the covenant which he made with Abraham and his oath to Isaac. All those are important. All those are important. And so those... That sends us to, that sends us to, um, we have a couple of them. Genesis 17, 2. That says, and I will make my covenant between me and you and, and will multiply you exceedingly. And clearly God has, and God uh, did do that. All right. And then so um and then 263 263 sends us to that says sojourn in this land and I will be with you and bless you for to you and your descendants I give all these lands and I will perform the oath which I swore to Abraham your father. All right, so he said, so that sojourn means to what? Reside temporarily. They weren't, that wasn't their permanent home. But he said, and I will be with you and bless you for to you and your descendants. I will give, I give all these lands and I will perform the oath which I swore to Abraham, your father. And so in all that fussing and fighting about the land, them lands and who owns, who lit, need to live where and all that other stuff that's still going on today. God said a, a, a land was for, um, for them Israelites, and they have to occupy that land. They have to occupy that land because God gave it to them. Um, 28.13, so this sends us to 28.13, that says, And behold, the Lord God stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac, the land on which you lie, I will give to you and your descendants. All right. And so he was talking to uh, Jacob about that, what he was going to give to him. All right. And then so 1 Chronicles 16 also sends us to 30, Genesis 35, 11. It's just corroborate all the things that God said, said he was going to do. Also, God said to him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply a nation and a company of nations shall proceed from you and kings shall come from your body. All right. And indeed it happened. God said it. he's going to perform it. All right. And so we covered those reference scriptures. So let's go back to uh, uh, Psalm 105. And then so it says uh, he has remembered his covenant forever and so that sends us to Luke 172. From Genesis to Luke, look at here. Who's in Luke? <laughs> All right, Luke 172. That says, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. All right, and so let's just go up. And read uh, Luke 1, uh, 67 to 72, so we can understand what's going on. Uh, now his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, Blessed is the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people and has raised up a horn of salvation for us and the house of his servant David, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, who have been since the world begun, began that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham to grant us that we, bearing, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear and holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the highest for you will go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the remission of their sins through the tender mercy of our God, 
with which the day spring from on high has visited us to give light to those who sit in darkness and the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. And so this is Zechariah, John the Baptist's father, prophesying his ministry because he was a forerunner to Christ. And so all of that, all of these promises are being fulfilled. All right, thousands, the word which he commanded for a thousand generations is, is happening. All right, line nine, the covenant which he made with Abraham and his oath and his oath to Isaac. All right. And so that sent us to Genesis 17 too, but we already read that already. 10, and he confirmed it to Jacob for a statute, to Israel for an everlasting covenant, um, saying to you, I will give the land of Canaan as the allotment of your inheritance. And so we read all those reference scriptures for that. When they were but few in number, indeed very few, and strangers in it. And so clearly that just corroborate everything that we read in those scriptures from First Chronicles. That is uh, the same reference scriptures that we have here. Just to corroborate that God gave a covenant, made a covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. And to all the generations after him. All right. And so we're going to go ahead and pause there. And then we'll pick it up in line 13.